Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Hi everybody Welcome, Facebook Live, uh, YouTube not live, um, Daniel Miller here, transforming fear into fortune, fear into freedom, fear into the life of your dreams. If you're, in, if you're experiencing fear, guess what? It means you're on the right track because if you weren't experiencing fear, you would not be out of your comfort zone. And the only good things we get in life really happen outside of the comfort zone. Uh, I'm way outside of my comfort zone doing this here video every day. Um, so let's go to where the real source is. Um, I was just listening to uh, a commentary about interviews with um, John Lennon and um, Bob Dylan and the Stones. And they talked about how they would ask these guys about how they wrote their songs. And these, these guys, when they were young, they always evaded the questions because they said the songs came from someplace else and they weren't not even going to mess with such a sacred place by discussing it with a reporter or something like that. So that's what we're talking about in this show right here. What you want to do, what your life's work is, it's not this thing here. It's not that. It's not, it, it comes through you, right? And we are practicing tools to get out of the way so that we can let that creative force come through us, contribute to the world that way. One of the tools is tuning in. Oh, let's tune in. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. This really humble bowing. One of the tools, humility. We're going to bow to the teacher within. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo. Dave Namo. Good. Another great tool. Prayer. Aho, Creator God, Great Spirit. Humbly come before you. Humbly just uh, approach your mystery. Approach that realm that you are that we cannot define in any way, shape, or form from this perspective. But we can, we can talk to you and we thank you for that privilege of being able to just communicate straight to you and how you realign us when we talk to you. I just ask you to bless everyone over here in the state of California dealing with these wildfires right now. Um, real craziness happening out there. And the, the people on the front lines, I know they're getting tired right now, God. And I know that uh, there's, there's, there's not the, the inmates that are there. They're not, they're not online right now. And we got ourselves into a situation and uh, your destructive force is, is moving through. And, you know, I know these things will pass. I know it's just a pendulum going back and forth. But again, you know, I think you really want us to look to you for help in these times. And I'm just praying for all those people. I'm looking to you and asking you for that good help for those ones who are suffering, for those ones who are tired, for those ones whose bodies are hurting right now, for those ones who are scared. Um, you know, animals, all the situations are just home upon home upon home upon home and people evacuating and not knowing where to go show everybody something kind of cool in the middle of all this you know uh, um, give us the courage to look at the bright side in the midst of the destruction give us the courage to see the creation that could come out of it and to uh, um, get to know ourselves a little bit better to find some peace in this um, to, 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 to just just you know what people need God 
thank you. Thank you for this, my state over here. Thank you. And, um, you know, just bless all those communities out there. Um, bless all the people watching here, um, whether they're watching in real time or later on, you know, whatever they need. You know, we're, we're standing together, you know, we're following your inspiration in our lives. And through that, um, we, we ask you to help us along. You know, we let go of, of what we previously thought you know, we were supposed to do and really stepping into what you have for us today, right now. And let us keep our focus upon you today. Thank you, Satnam. Oh, <laughs> help me to keep my ego at bay. Stay humble and and, uh, and do your work. Thank you, Satnam. Aho. Amen. Um, okay. Hello, everybody. Um, today, we are talking about um, integrity integrity wow what a concept i hated learning about integrity didn't like it at all i liked being able to to be slippery and get away with things right um i wear this watch because i said i'm gonna do this show on time three days in a row and i get to take off this ugly walmart watch and i'm paying the price this watch has a timer that goes off at about 11.30 every night and it's all digitalized. I have no idea how to turn it off. And the best thing I could do is just be on time, right? Integrity is power. How come? I don't know. How does it work? I don't know that either. But really great teachers like uh, Warner Earhart, um, um, some other ones, they, they just, they, they talk about your word. Don't lie your word, things happen. And the best way I, I heard it put was that when you are your word, when your word and your actions line up over and over and over again, the universe starts to line it up for you as it's coming out of your mouth, that the magic starts to happen. What do they say? When you get inspired, the, the um, forces of the universe conspire to meet you. You just have to take that first step outside of the comfort zone, right? Get up off the couch and go do it, right? Overcome the resistance, take a step, throw that hat over the fence and do it and then do it again and do it again. And I know some of you out there, you're doing it. You're in the process. And we're kind of doing this thing together right now. And you got to just keep doing it day in, day out. Just stepping out, stepping out. You know, I, I think of um, professional athletes that just keep showing up. Showing up when they're sick. Showing up when they're healthy. Showing up when they hurt. Um, you just got to do it. You know, that's just part of the game, right? Um, emotions without a story is not painful. How do you take the story off an emotion, right? Some people say there's only one emotion, uh, just an intensity that you feel. We call it mad, we call it sad, we call it scared, um, we call it uh, um, excitement, we call it um, uh, joy joy, happiness, bliss, pleasure, all those things, right? What if we even took that label off that? Play with this today. Take the label off the emotion and just go, I'm feeling, don't say it. I'm just feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. That brings us to our first meditation for the day. It's the I am meditation. In this meditation, your left hand is um, in Gyan Mudra at your knees. Um, your right hand is in front of your heart. And as we say, I am, we're going to move that right hand out to about 12 or 14 inches. And then we're going to say, I am, and move it back in. And if this fly lands on your nose, you're just going to be, I am. What happens in this meditation your mind goes to try to answer the I am. And the answer is a whole lot more than the mind could really conceive of. So we're gonna just let the ego be doing this and you get to have this mystical experience of what I am really is. And again, undefinable. 
count the angels dancing on the edge of the pin, right? Oh, wow, let's define it, define it, define it. Let's not. Let's experience it today. Let's be in the here, the magic. Let's be in the magic creative moment of the here and the now. Creation is happening all around us. It's destruction and out of this destruction is going to come creation. And it's rough and it's hard and it's working right at our guts and it's scaring the hell out of us all. Um, you know, it's like, wow, how, but let's stay focused, okay? And let's do it. And let's just stay with this. I am, and let's just stay centered and stay in our power for the people who are fighting the fires, for the people who are scared of the fires, for the people who are scared for your own self being scared, and to show our kids and our grandkids and our ancestors and to be the change we want to see in this world, right? We can do this. Okay. Like this, like this. Inhale. Exhaling. It's really simple. We're just going to close our eyes, focus right here. I'm going to chant this mantra. I want you to chant it from your navel, though. You know, this is not just, I am. This is, I am, right? Look who made you. They said this word in this whole universe is here. It goes on for infinity, right? We're not just little, I am. We're creation. We're creators in the middle of creation. And let's I am into this to find out what our next step is in this creation. Let's I am for all of us over here to bring peace of mind. Okay, right here, right here. Inhale. Exhaling all the way out. Focus on the heart. Inhale to begin. I am. I am. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, good, from the navel. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, really projected out there. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. I am, I am, I am, I am, good, let all your thoughts go, just be the sound, I am, I am, I am, I am, be opening your heart as you're pulling your hand away, I am, I am, I am, I am. I am, I am, I am, I am, good, inhale, hands in Gyan Mudra, breathe, now we're inhaling, sat, Exhaling, na, 
Sat, you're yeah, saying ta, na, ma, okay? Ta, na, ma. We're counting it on your fingers. We're giving the ego something to do. Yeah, right here. I'll hold my hands up here. You can hold it here. You can do this driving. You can keep this going. You do it in the grocery store line. Let's practice. Really good. Now, while you're doing this, imagine you're in the middle of a great big beach ball. Keep breathing. You're in the middle of this great big beach ball. Um, and it's full of light and love. Your heart is projecting it out there. It's like you have a projector in your heart that's going off in three, like a hologram, all directions around you. This is called your electro magnetic field it's your electromagnetic field it's around your body see it as you're breathing no voice your voice will take it away will take away from it silence your mind project your thoughts to the outside of that electromagnetic field and come be in that field of love of joy of of i amness keep on breathing following the breath Enjoying the I amness of your electromagnetic field. Good. Now hold your hands out in front of you. So we're doing this. Hold your hands out in front of you. We're not doing the beggar's bowl. We're going into the Aquarian age. This is an age, it's about the water. It's about the healing power of the water. It's about going with the flow. The, uh, the, the Piscean age was a fish biting a fish. This is a woman bearing water. We come into our feminine side. And we're going to hold this chalice of water in our field. Okay, we're going to do something special with it. Right now, I just want you to hold it, visualize it. And as you're breathing, just see beautiful energy, your best love. Like if you had a child who needed your best energy to heal or something, what kind of love would you be projecting out there? Really project that out there. This program, if we want to get to our magic, we have to project like we never have before, outside of the comfort zone, you know, using those life and death situations to practice um, going beyond. So I want you to project into the water in your hands right now. You can let that water just fill your electromagnetic field if you want. Be in a big ball of water. Now together, we all have different images of these fires that are going on. We have a crisis here right now. And we want to give good energy to those people out there who are fighting it. We want to give good energy to the people out there who are, who are scared, the people who are running away, the people who are wondering what's next, right? Let's give them some peace and some energy and some well-being through this beautiful water, okay? So I want you to see the water as you're exhaling. Just project that water out into whatever you know of, whatever your imagination sees of the state of California and these other fires in other areas too. But let's just send it off to those rescue workers. Send it off to those first responders, to those ones who are driving over here from other states too. 
to send beautiful, loving mermaids off to them, to hold on to them, beautiful angels to be around them. Whatever is your medicine, you have an individual medicine to send off there. Send off a beautiful vision now to those, to those workers, to those, those people that are risking their lives. Send them joy. Send them thanks. Send them gratitude. give it to them. Good. These people are coming over from other states to help us right now. Send it out there to them. Tell them thank you. Theoretically. Just give it to them right now. You know. Thank you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. From all over. We're, we're helping each other. This is just an amazing human time right now. It touches my heart right now to just think about this. That you know, people are driving and big trucks coming over here. They're going to risk their lives. The biggest fires in the history of California are burning. It's hot. We have lightning coming and people are driving into it. Like the people that went up the, uh, the, um, uh, the Sears Towers, no, <laughs> the towers in, in New York uh, that fell down. You know, they, fight, they risk their lives for other people. Beautiful, beautiful thing, you know going on right now just send out that good energy you know just when you think of them pray for them you know that, that they'll be okay that they get to go back home to their wives and their families and their children i don't know why i'm so touched by this but i am and it's live so it's what we get you know um if you see them around acknowledge them you know i'm sure they'd love it you know just say thank you to them um, I, I, they drive around up here. I'm sure you'll see them somewhere if you live in California. These people driving in, you'll see different um, states on their license plates. And they're coming in to help us out. Um, they, they kept the, the inmates in the prison system that usually go out and help do the front lines for the fire. They kept them all, um, they kept them all in there because of the COVID. They didn't want it to spread around. So they're super short-handed, and last night the chief battalion, the battalion chief, had to say, "Hey, we're going to have to go for the long haul, so don't let yourself get burned out. You know, we're going to go a long way. So let's just really pull together um, spiritually because this program is about the spiritual solutions, you know, and we have that ability to to send that that energy out there. Um, <laughs> we'll burn some cedar for them. How's that? Um, I haven't done that yet." Oh, thank you, God. Thank you for this um, good inspiration. You know, our brothers and sisters, you know, you made us who we are. You made us these people who care about each other. You made us a, a community that pulls together. And now we're a world community now. You know, we've never really experienced this. And we don't know quite how to, uh, how to be with all this, you know. But we just take this cedar right now. First, we bless everybody who's out there, you know. Bless myself, you know. Bless those ones who are fighting those fires right now, God. You just take care of them. Take care of their families back home. Let them know they're going to be home safe. You listen to all the prayers that are going on for them. All the people who are dispersed right now, God. You just take care of them. You just touch them right now. Boy, I just feel this collective pain around here. It's like um, kind of scary. The sky's all smoky and smells like smoke over here. I'm burning smoke for them. It's funny, but... It's what I have. It's what God gave me. So uh, however you pray, you know, we're going to send that out there. Um, let's see here. Um, the gift of peace and joy and love is always available. It's always available. It's never, never not available. Sometimes it takes a lot of work to find it, but it's always right there for us. So, um, we're going to complete now with uh, with our, our, our mantra that we like. Um, in fact, I'll get my guitar. So I, uh, I'll get my guitar. I'll put my guitar. Holy smoke. Get it outside here. <laughs> I left it leaning against my car in the hot sun. 
What a day, huh? All right. All right. Going live, going live. Let's see here. Let's see how my, my tune is on this thing. That's good enough, you know. No, it's not. <laughs> um, let's see, okay, while I tune up here, um, to make something magic, you gotta give it away. And the more you give, the more you get. And, and if you want something in your life, you gotta give it away. If you want love to come to you in your life, you gotta give out love. If you want to be acknowledged in life, start acknowledging people. Uh, whatever it is, you know, if you want God to be generous with you, start being generous with others in God's creation. And if, if you think you're being generous, be more generous. You always have more to give. Um, and, and the more you give, the Grateful Dead have a great line, the more you give, the more it'll take. And, and that's where you want to get to because that's where life is really, really happening. And that's where you are going to be teaching your children how to give, right? How to give in a level, in a way that's going to make this world, you know, uh, it's, just, it's just going to knock it on its on its butt. It's just going to make what, you know, the generosity that we have today... You know, let's outdo that in so many ways. Let's just give. Let's give more than ever. Let's make magic. Let's just make magic all over the place by being, you know, finding something that you can give, finding a way to forgive somebody. You know, there's just no power when you're blaming. There's no power in being a victim of circumstances. There's just no power in it. There's no power when, some, when you think that it, it happened to you. The power happens when you decide that you are the source of all of this that's going on around here. You're the source of everything you see and everything going on inside of you. All this, all this creation that's happening. You are the source of it and that's where the power is. That's where the sorcery starts, is in you being the source. So in a way, that, that, is, that is what we're teaching over here, is, is a form of sorcery or creation it's always that b string tuning into the source right so if you can just stop your minds for 30 seconds you tune into that source and then you know what happens that source starts to project out through you and other people start to get blessed. And if you can stop your mind for a whole minute or for two minutes, a whole lot of miracles can start to happen in your life. And if you can, you know, just look at a candle for five minutes, you're gonna see incredible things start happening in your life. Anyway, I would like to ask you to, to share this video out there with other people. Um, if you're on, on uh, YouTube, would you please subscribe and then I can go live on YouTube too because I've committed to doing this throughout COVID and I think it's gonna go on for a long time and God wanted me to do this commitment for something I'm gonna get and that you're gonna get and that we're all gonna get out of it. But I'd like to have, uh, uh, I'd like to be live on both. I'm gonna have two cameras right here and be able to do that. So anyway. <laughs> Mantra goes um Ekonkar Sadguru Prasad Sadguru Prasad Ekonkar. It's a joyful, joyful mantra. It brings on happiness. Um, it mirrors itself. It shows in a way it, it tells us how this miracle happens that we could possibly be the source of everything that we see. How could I possibly be the source of, of all these things going on around me? It's not, again, something that we can explain, but it's something that we can, I am. We can take it in, we can understand it, and we can work with that energy without having to understand it all the way, right? It's not like, in, yeah, anyway, let's do that. Sata Guru Prasad, Sata Guru Prasad, Ekonkar, Ekonkar, Sata Guru Prasad, Sata Guru Prasad, Ekonkar, Ekonkar, Sata Guru Prasad, Sata Guru Prasad, Ekonkar.
Sadhguru Prasad, Sadhguru Prasad, Ekongkar, Sadhguru Prasad, Sadhguru Prasad, Ekongkar, 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 Ekongkar, Sadhguru Prasad, Sadhguru Prasad, Ekongkar. I love you unconditionally. I love everything that you give to me. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I love you so completely. I forgive you so discreetly. I want to know you. From the end until the start. Ekong kar sad guru prasad sad guru prasad. Ekong kar ekong kar sad guru prasad sad guru prasad. Ekong kar ekong kar sad guru prasad sad guru prasad. Ekong kar ekong kar sad guru prasad sad guru prasad. Ekong kar. Okay, let's let go of all the attachments to our thoughts. Let's let go of thinking that we're our body. You are not your feelings. That's not who you are. Ekong kar sad guru prasad sad guru prasad ekong kar ekong kar sad guru prasad sad guru prasad ekong kar ekong kar sad guru prasad sad. Guru Prasad, Echo Kar, Echo Kar, Sad Guru Prasad, Sad Guru Prasad, Echo Kar. Mm. Thank you all. We're gonna rub our hands together. You got prayers out there. Thank you all for being part of that. Not what I expected today, but um, <laughs> God's full of miracles, huh? Long satna. Oh, by the way, that thing at the beginning, that's a prayer wheel that uh, my good brother David Fishman gave to me. Uh, it goes on solar power. Satnam. Satnam. Sat Nam. Aho, dear God. Thank you for letting us tap into this powerful, powerful prayer that's taking place over here in our state, in our nation, in our world. We're pulling together spiritually. I can feel it. We're pulling our minds together, you know? Um, as these things happen, this strangeness, new times are happening. Let us just turn to that power that's invisible inside of us more and more. Help me to, to, to be aware of it. And um, all the people are seeking it, you know, just give us a good dose of that with a lot of joy and compassion and balance and grounding as well. Thank you so much for being with us and thank you for hearing our prayers today. Satnam, Aho, Amen.